previous versions of vSphere. With vSphere 5 you can't install the converter on the Visual Center server anymore and, and use the plugin. You need to use the standalone converter which you can download from VMware. Now it doesn't matter what you install this on. For example here I'm just installing it on a Windows 7 client. And as you can see the install is pretty straightforward. Just accept all the defaults and click run the client now. Okay, you get a little bit of a dashboard where it comes up, but we want to select the option to convert the machine. And we can convert a powered on machine, or oh, there's a lot of options on there. Now, one I'm going to convert is a virtual machine, but I'm just going to, instead of picking a virtual machine, I'm just going to leave it on powered on virtual machine. And I am going to convert my connection server from a view environment and provide the credentials to log on to that machine. And you can see on the OS family you can either select Windows or Linux, this is a Windows box. And click next and it should run away and start chatting to that machine. Uh, it needs to install some software on the machine. I'm going to say automatically uninstall when it's finished and click yes. And then it will deploy the converter agent to that remote machine. This takes a little bit longer but I've sped it up for the purpose of the video. Okay, where are we going to put the virtual machine? I'm going to give it the fully qualified domain name of my virtual center server and the appropriate credentials to be able to log in. That's everything I should need. Click next. Now, because it's using self signed certificates, just uh, tick the box to not display and ignore. Now it's talking to my uh, virtual infrastructure. It wants to know where to put the virtual machine. So if I just go to the Discover Virtual Machines, you'll see I've already got some there running. One of them is the machine that I'm actually cloning. And click Next. Now in here you can pick where you would like to store your virtual machine, what host, etc. And the virtual machine version, I'm just going to leave it on version 8 which is new for vSphere 5 and what storage I'm going to put the virtual machine on, click next okay you'll notice at the top there the C drive on this particular machine is 40 gig give or take so if I click edit anybody who's used the previous version of the VMware converter this screen will look a little similar now it's a bit cramped to see what's going on here so I'm just going to stretch these columns out so you can see what it's doing. So uh, by default it'll maintain the size but I'm going to change the size. Remember it was 40 gig initially and I'm going to drop it down to 30 gig. Obviously in the production environment the numbers will be a lot bigger but this is just my little test network. Click next. Review your settings and click finished. Now obviously this is going to take quite some time so again for the purpose of the video I've sped it all up and this is taking a clone of my running machine and it's resizing its disks when it recreates the new virtual machine. That's the process completed And that's us pretty much finished with VMware Converter. So I'll close that down and we're going to jump across onto my virtual infrastructure. And you will see, if you pull that along a little bit, you'll see there's my original running VM. 
if I have a look at the hard drives that are on there you should see select hard drive you can indeed it's grayed out because it's powered on but you can see that that is 40 gig the one I've just created it's exactly the same machine but its hard drive is 30 gig so all that remains to do is for me to power off my original machine and I've sped this up and then power on my new virtual machine just to make sure that it runs OK and there's no problems with it fires up. If we have a look at the C drive hopefully we should see that it's 30 gig in size. There we go. And that is 29.5 because we lose a bit with the maths but it's resized that hard drive. So in a real environment you can now delete from disk the original and run with this new one with the resized drives. And that's us done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.petenetlife.com